Okay, we're back with some Dwarf Fortress. Um, so this is uh, 47.3 now, so they released a patch to fix some of the uh, fix some of the bugs that the version 47 introduced. So I've already imported my world and all my settings. Um, it took some time. But, uh, oh, I don't want to do a new world. What am I doing? No, no, no. Abort. Abort. I want to continue. Right, okay, so um, last time we died, and we were going to start a fortress. So fortress mode. Um, I'm, I'm pretty bad at fortress mode, I'm going to be honest. Um, if you thought I was bad at adventure mode, just get ready because I'm much worse at fortress mode. Um... But yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of jump into it. We'll go as long as we can. Um, my goal is to make it three years. Um, Alright, so... I have it set to... do a 2x2 two two world. Um, so my computer can run it more easily. Uh, let's see. I want to pick a good location. I was kind of thinking up here somewhere. Between the uh, goblin areas. We have aquifers. Aquifers are not so much fun. But they did add light aquifers, so like when you when you mine into an aquifer, it's not gonna flood and kill your entire fortress right away. So that's that's kinda cool. Um looking at the region map here, we have a lot of goblins going on over here, so I wanna find a spot. Um we'll use the search. Find desired location. So X dimension, Y dimension, savagery. We want some uh, we want some medium savagery evil. We want some low evil. Uh, medium elevation's fine. Let's just leave that fine. Uh, temperature fine, rain fine, drainage fine. Flux stone layer. I'd like a flux stone layer. No aquifer, please. River would be nice. Yeah. Shallow metal. Sure, I'd love it. Deep metal, yeah. Soil. Um, some. Clay is not important. And... Uh, let's do search. So it'll scan the entire map for us and find desirable locations that fit those criteria. So far there are very few. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Let's take a look here. Oops. Uh, browse results. Okay, we have... What have we got here? Temperature hot, trees none. No trees. We kind of need trees. Like, you can always trade for trees, for wood and stuff, but it's nice to have trees. Um... Trees, none. I think this is uh, the the jungle. The the jungle is something of of angels, but oh no no, that's the name of the brook. Never mind, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there was. Let's see here. Um, hot climates. I think hot climates are fine. Here we have a warm climate. Thick other vegetation, mirthful surroundings in a brook, with shallow metal, and no trees. I think that's our that's our best prospect so far. All these are quite, I would say, not so good. <laughs> let's uh, all right. Let's let's clear that and let's find a new desired location. Savagery, we don't care. Evil, we don't care. Elevation, we don't care. Temperature, um, medium. Rain, yeah. Flux stone layer, I would like that, yes. <laughs> don't need it. Aquifers, absolutely not. Rivers, sure. I would like a river. Shallow metal, deep metal, soil. I want some deep soil. Okay, let's search for that. 
Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Most of this episode's probably going to be mostly just setting up the fortress that we're going to build. Okay, so here we have warm, sparse trees, moderate vegetation, surrounding is a wilderness. Little soil, deep metal, and flux stone layer. I like it. It's the trustworthy hills, everybody. It's the trustworthy hills. I <laughs> think it's perfect. That's uh, that's our... That's the one. That's That's the one. That is the one. The trustworthy hills. So you can uh, play now or prepare for the journey carefully. I always prepare for the journey carefully. Um, so it'll generate your uh, seven dwarves right off the bat. Um, and we can add or subtract dwarves, embark, tab into items, name the fort, name the group, name the symbol, save, view, and customize. Uh, can we... Let's see. Do they have to start out with peasant? They probably have to start out with peasant. Probably can't make them all heroes. Okay, we want a miner. We need at least a miner. What else are you going to do? I think you should do masonry as well. Uh, let's see. See, a lot of this... I'm not great at fortress mode, so I don't really know what I need to have in order to be successful. I know I need a miner. Probably two. I need two miners, probably. Um, I think Stukos is going to be our, probably our, our um, expedition leader. So we want him to have good leadership skills, I would think. So critical thinking would be nice. I think schemer is new. I think that's new. Um, Let's just up these a little bit. Stone crafter? Yeah. Adequate stone crafter. And a pretty decent miner. Um, let's also give you uh, skills in like bookkeeping and trading if we can find that. Um, what is it? Appraiser. So you can tell how much stuff is worth. Uh, organizer. And that's all, that's all Stukos can do. Um, Lycott. I think you're going to be our second miner. But you're also going to be our woodcutter, I think. Woodcutter, so we'll make you our, our kind of crafty person. Building designer. Uh, metal and stone. Normally, I don't even make it to the metal age. <laughs> like, I'm pretty terrible. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how well this goes. Okay. You're our crafter, so we need to think about crafting skills. A leather worker, sure. And a tanner. Probably, well, could have someone else do butchering. Wood, wood crafter, yeah. Okay. And we'll make you another adequate miner. We'll make you, well, actually, we'll make you an adequate woodcutter. That way you can mine if you need to, but your main job's going to be like wood cutting and carpentry. Aitan, you're gonna be our farmer. We need a farmer. We'll make you a fisherman as well. 
uh, Miller, Thresher, Grower, Herbalist, and Brewer. Brewer is good and important. We'll make you our cook as well. Why not? Um, butcher. Yeah, you'll do all our food <laughs> food tasks. Uh, fish dissector. Fish cleaner. I think that's it for now. For you. Uh, Deagle. 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 Your name is Deagle now. Um, you are going to be... Uh, I think you're going to be our... You can be an astronomer. That's interesting. We should have given Stukos leadership skills. I was talking about it and I forgot to do it. Okay. You're going to be our weaponsmith. You're going to make our weapons. Bows. Armor. You're going to be like our second crafter, basically. Make you a furnace operator, too. So I think you need a furnace to melt down ores and get the metals. I think. I think. Um, Alath. I think you're going to be our doctor. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we need soldiers, too, probably. Wound dresser. Diagnostician, surgeon, bone doctor, suturer, and what else? What else are you going to do? I'm not putting enough points in some of these skills, I think. You're going to be our leader, too. Real good wound dresser, you know? <clears throat> and I think we're going to make a couple of soldiers here. You guys have good concentration, good discipline. Um, what kind of weapons? So obviously fighters. So I think these are unarmed, unarmed combat. We don't need you to be an archer. We need you to be a fighter. Yes. So okay, fighter, striker, biter, and dodging. So those are essential, and then we can pick a weapon of choice. And I think. Spearman is good. Well, no, Axe. Axe Dwarves. Axe Dwarves are great. Um, and we need a hammer. Next guy will be our hammerer. He'll be pretty decent at these skills. Yeah, I like that. Okay. You. What was it? Hammer? Hammers are important. Because if we come across undead, the only way to defeat undead is to mangle the corpses. It's the only way to keep them from coming back to life. Uh, so we need a hammerman. There's also a fighter. Uh, a kicker and a biter. And dodging is also important. 
And that'll do it for those guys. Okay. So, um, we can go in and customize these individually. Uh, view them and see what like kind of people they are. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it that long. If we make it more than a year, then I'll, I'll start looking into my dwarves and like discovering what they like and their what their their likes and dislikes are. Kind of learn more about them because you need to keep your dwarves happy, or else they uh, they fall into you know depressions and eventually go crazy and start attacking other dwarves and other such nonsense. Um. So that's something you need to keep an eye on eventually, because I've, I've had a lot of forts that were doing really well, but just the entire fort fell into depression. Like, once one dwarf gets into a state where, um, like, they're really depressed, it's it kind of um, it snowballs, so other dwarves will start to become depressed too, and it, it gets ugly. So we're going to avoid that when it becomes, um, you know, more of an issue. Let's see. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's name our fort. Uh, Paint Dimpled. Let's see. I'm just going to randomize. Wheels, Phantoms. Geared Soars. Bell Order. Bronze Touched. Ad ad admired Clasps. Lashed Skinned. Bridge Clouds. Hailed Worked. Escort Work. Construct Earthen, Ringdale, Razor Lead, Cudgel Dreamy, Worked Branded, Cloak Guilds, I like it, Cloak Guilds, Cloak Guilds, our group, The Bust of Irons, The Hammer of Prices, the Imprisoned Palisade. The Citadel of Bands. The Escorted Vestibule. The Theater of Dawns. The Tools of Focus. The Rock of Night. I like that one. That's pretty neat. The Rock of Night. Um, our symbol. A constructive ray. Select an, an element to begin. Uh, Uh, creature. We're going to pick our creature. A wolf man. A female wolf. How many? Zero for unnumbered plural. So we want wolves. An image of wolves. Wolves are what are they doing what are the wolves doing making submissive gestures <laughs> striking a triumphant pose an image of wolves the wolves are striking a triumphant pose fantastic i love it Okay, now let's go to items. So copper picks, we have two. Copper battle axes, we have two. Iron anvil, very important. Dwarven wine, yes. Plump helmets, wanna add some plump helmets. Um, some pigtail seeds. How many points? 22 points, jeez. Wheat, we don't need as much wheat, I think. Uh, sweet pods, rock nuts, dimple cups. Food's important. <laughs> Food's very important. Um, start off with some plump helmets. That's always good. Uh, quivers, buckets, splints, crutches, wheelbarrows, step ladders. All of that's important. A lot of the stuff we can make on our own. Uh, 
Let's see if we can get some animals. Okay, okay, we need dogs. We need a breeding pair of dogs. Dogs are important. Can we add, we don't have enough points to add more dogs. Sad. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> I didn't realize how few points I had. Maybe we'll, uh... We'll remove some stuff. Prepared goat kidneys? We don't need so many of those. We'll find our own kidneys. That's what we're gonna do. Cave lobsters. Yeah, no. Uh, plump helmets. Yeah, we kinda need those. Plump helmets are important because you can make, um, I think it's dwarven, dwarven wine or dwarven ale with uh, plump helmets, so they become very, very important. Um, cave lobsters, ten plump helmets. Thread, cloth, bags, and ropes. All this stuff's pretty important. I don't want to remove any of it. But now we have some points. We can get ourselves another dog. Dogs are important. Um, we need some... All right, I want a hen. I want two hens and a rooster, if we can do that. Rooster six points, we need to remove something. Um, less, less, less goat kidneys, more eggs. And a rooster. So now we have zero points. Oh boy. But we do have chickens and plenty of food to get us started. I think that's enough food to get us through the year. We could get camels, they're expensive. Okay. Good, good, good. I think we're ready. Embark. Oh, a new land for our kingdom. A land flowing with milk and booze. <laughs> you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the all for the glory of all of Ilrastukus. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings, ere the leopards get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Rome Lam Dumas, Cloaked Guilds, Strike the Earth. Beautiful, okay. Uh, pause, immediately pause. Okay. So we have some I'm gonna tap a little bit. Okay, I like that better. Uh, okay, so a lot of the controls are listed on this side. Um, you kinda need to know what they do before you can just start playing. Uh, we can look around and see what we have to work with. To start out with, we have some hills down here. I like to kinda mine into the hills. Wow, 2x2 two two is real small. That's great. Okay. I like that because I won't get as lost. <laughs> I like to get lost in Dwarf Fortress, it's great. It's a good time. Okay. That's down, that's up. We have our trees. Okay. Um. Okay, we need to establish where our fortress is. Uh, so we're gonna designate an area to mine. We're gonna build a. We're gonna build a downstair. We're gonna cut out a downstair right here. Okay. We'll go down a level and we'll do an up downstair. So I. Um. And we'll go down a few levels. So F1 to go back to. Okay, F1 takes you back to your wagon. That's important. 
Um, yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's go back down a few levels. About here. And then we'll designate um, this area to be dug out. This is where our fortress proper will be. Rad. Okay. Do it. Uh, we'll resume. We'll watch him do work. There they go. Look at them go. Both our miners go in here. What's happened? They've stopped. Why have you stopped? I don't know why they stopped. No recent announcements. I'm telling you, I'm not great at this game. Ugh. So shift L to look around. Let's look. K. K is look. Stone up down stairway. Okay, we'll remove the designation for this to be mined. So maybe that will allow them to cut the the stairs instead of just mining it out. Erg. Okay. That's fun. All right. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just remove all of this. level and uh, we'll just we'll put the fortress here and that's what we'll do okay do that there we go neat zone um, okay zone we're gonna make it a pasture we're gonna put our horses in there because they are grazing animals they need to graze Also gonna gather food in this area. Gather food. Pick fruit from trees. Oops, yeah, pick fruit from trees. Uh pick berries, pull tubers, gather fallen fruit. Perfect. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, good. Oh that's good. 
so they should pasture up our animals. Do we have a river? I don't think we have a river. That's unfortunate. We'll get water some other way, I'm sure. We'll find it. Um, we should designate an area to chop trees. T. Chop down trees. Make elves mad at us. Chop down those trees. Uh, and then we'll also gather plants. Give some more islers something to do here. Gather some plants. aren't doing much. <laughs> we have six idlers not doing anything. Uh, okay. We should be able to set jobs. Like what tasks they will or won't do. die so quick. <laughs> uh, locations and occupations. Yes. Nope. Few units, few items in building. Set tasks and preferences. Job list. my audio levels looking like? Are you even hearing this music? Yeah, you should be. Okay. That's good. Um, okay, we've already been going for 33 minutes. I think, um, I think I'll call it there for right now, and we'll come back and we'll keep going with this fortress. Um, once I kind of... I'll watch some tutorials and then we'll figure out what we're doing with Dwarf Fortress here. But, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, hopefully this fortress goes well. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Join me, see you next time.